Hi there, I'm Jackson Felden. On this video, I want to show how you can create a local admin via Intune. In order to do that, you need to set up a new custom configuration profile on Intune. And here are the two strings you need to do that. The first one, if I start with device, vendor, MSFT, accounts, users, here is the place where you can just decide whatever the name you want. I just decided to go for admin5 and then password. From the data type, make sure you select the string and then whatever the password you want. I decided to go for a kind of password 22 local in a strong way. Okay, this first string creates a local user called admin5 with that password. If I want to make sure that user, that new user becomes a local admin, the next one does that basically with a second string in here, I just need to swap a password to local user group and then make sure you select number two. If you stick with one, the user becomes um, a kind of normal user. If you add number two, the user becomes a local admin. Okay, that's the, the key thing you need to do. You can copy and paste from the comments below on my on, on this video. Let's get things sorted. Let me show you my quick lab in here. Okay, what I did already is I have two VMs in here in standby. I just want to show at the moment I don't have any user called uh, admin5. Just let me do a couple of refreshings here. Okay, yeah, no admin5 users at the moment. Okay, the device name is Windows 10.07 and this guy here is Windows 10.05. Okay, now let me jump into Intune. Okay, here I am from Microsoft Endpoint Manager uh, Admin Center. If I go over devices and then all devices, yeah, this is just my own quick lab. I have here the two, the two VMs, and this, the, those two devices uh, ready to go. Okay, to do the configuration, the place to go is over the configuration profiles. Let me go there. I have only two very simple profiles in here already. Let me start from the scratch to set up a new custom. Let me go over create a profile. And then I need to make sure I want to deploy over my Windows 10 devices. Okay, Windows 10. And here, very important, make sure you go over templates. And then finally, custom. Okay, that's the place to go now. Create. Okay, the name really doesn't matter. Let me just set here. Let's call local admin5. Yeah, we'll keep simple. Okay, next. Okay, here's the key, is the key point, okay? Make sure now you have exactly that string. Of course, change the name, the username if you want. Let me just copy that bit and I need to click on add. Okay, the name here again, just let me call admin5. I really don't need a description. Here is the key place where I need to paste that string. And then in here, I need to make sure is a string and whatever the password I want. Okay, let me stick with that one. Uh, password 22 local. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's half of the job is done. Click on okay. Now I need to, uh, I want to make sure my new user becomes a local administrator. Then let me get the second string and I need to click on add again. And okay, here, okay, make admin5 local admin. Again, whatever the name you want. And then the most important, need to paste in here and make sure now the data type is right and here is number two to make as a local admin. Okay, that's pretty much it. Okay, I have the two lines here. The first one to create a user and second to add that new user as a local administrator. Okay, that's done. Next step now is to assign this profile. Could be for a specific group. If I want, I could click in here. And then let's say I need that custom configuration only for my security group IT. Then I would just select from here. In my case, I want that, that that new user deployed for all my users using any device on my organization. Let me add all users. Click in there and then finally click on next and then next again and finally create. Okay, 
now in a few seconds the system should start talking to my uh, device 05 and 07 and then here oops as you can see already okay the process has started windows 10 07 is in a pending mode if i go back probably i need to wait a couple of minutes but yeah anyway if i go back to my vms and do a quick refresh in here okay yeah it should come at any stage what i can do to buy a bit of time is to force a synchronization for the guys uh, watching this video already familiar with Intune, I can do that via, if I go over devices and then go over my all desktops and then let me select the first one, the 05. And then from here, I can push the button, click on sync to kind of, you know, force a synchronization. And then I could do exactly the same, go over my device 07, click on sync, and then force the synchronization uh, synchronization again okay now if i go back to my vms and do a quick uh, refresh it might take um, you know a bit longer okay let me try okay that's fine i don't want to waste your time let me pause the video for a second and then i will wait to do all the replication and then i will do some catch up in a few seconds okay stay tuned Okay, a few minutes have passed. Now let me check my two VMs again. If I go back to my labs, uh, yeah, there you go. Here, as you can see, I have my user five ready to go on, on Windows 10 05. If I go to my computer number seven, and yeah, my admin five is in here as well. And that's it. Thanks for watching this video. Give a like if you enjoyed and all the best. Thank you.